Why are you staring at me? Greetings, Elkov. I asked you a question. <laughs> I meant nothing by it, I assure you. But if you have the time, might I invite you to join me for a cup of tea? This invitation makes little sense to me. You and I are not exactly close. It is because we aren't close that I invited you. I should like to get to know you better. Dispense with the pretense, please. What is it you want? My dear Zelkov, I have no ulterior motive here. I merely thought we could bond over tea. Regrettably, then, I must decline. What a shame. I suppose I'll have to put away my specially made soothing tea. I do not understand you. Well, it's plain to see that you don't sleep much. I fail to see your interest in the matter. It doesn't impact me directly at all. But as your friend, I am concerned. This is going nowhere. Whatever your intentions might be, stay out of my affairs. My dear Zelkov, you'll find it will take more to dissuade me than that. Good day, Zelkov. Would you care to join me for a spot of tea? Louis, I am beginning to suspect you are attempting to spy on me. <laughs> Very well. I shall be plain with my intentions. At last. By all means, proceed. I would like to take care of you, Zelkov. Excuse me? You see, I am the eldest of four brothers. My mother died early on, so I had a tumultuous upbringing in a house solely of men. With my father providing for the family, it fell to me to look after my brothers. My impulse to take good care of people remains strong even to this day. And you direct this impulse toward me? Indeed. You strike me as someone who wants looking after. Thus the incessant invitations to tea, I surmise. Quite so. In a way, I feel as though you could be one of my younger brothers. Ridiculous. I am older than you, you know. That matters little to me. I suppose it matters little to me as well, so long as you have no ulterior motive. I do understand the yearning an older brother feels to care for a younger one. Ah, do you have siblings as well? Perhaps I do. In any case, your efforts are wasted. I have no desire to be cared for. I suspected you'd say that. Please forgive me for running roughshod over your own feelings on the matter. <sighs> In lieu of an apology, I will accept a relaxing cup of tea. You possess leaves which help to impart a restful sleep, if I recall. <gasps> Wait right here, Zelkov. I shall prepare it at once. Where are you going, Zelkov? Regrettably, I cannot stay for tea this time. There is work to be done. That's a shame. In that case, are there any chores I might take care of for you? I could have your place tidied by the time you finish your work. As I've told you, Louis, I have no desire to be cared for. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. I can't help but feel the need to look after you. I credit this instinct to your strong resemblance to my brothers. <sighs> I had a younger brother. Long ago. Not only a brother, in fact. A family. They were killed. My condolences. I am uncertain exactly why, but... Drinking tea with you reminds me of them. It is painful to remember that what is lost can never be regained. But the tea... The tea is lovely. Ah, Zelkov. <laughs> How foolish of me. Please forget what I've said. I will not, I think. I shall await your return with a freshly brewed pot of tea. Hopefully that will entice you to return. <laughs> you are a strange one. But if you insist on waiting around for me, then the least I can do is enjoy the tea. I'll hold you to that. Now then, off you go. Farewell. <laughs> <laughs>